I hope everyone is doing fine. I'm so sorry I haven't updated my channel in quite a bit. So much has been happening for the past few weeks. We went to Bali for a week and we still have withdrawal symptoms from that trip because we miss it so much. Besides that, I've been busy with my kids and their schooling and generally just living life. On weekends, whenever I do have the time, I do enjoy going out with my Fuji X-T5 just to make sure I'm constantly practicing my craft whenever I can, I guess. Right, that's enough about me and what I've been up to. To. Anyway, first things first, I would like to wish everyone a happy new year 2023. I hope it's not too late for that. Today, I will be reviewing this funky little looking pancake of a lens, which is also aptly named UFO lens 18mm f6.3 by 7 Artisan. Full disclaimer, 7 Artisans did send me out this lens. However, I'm going to be totally honest with what I think about this lens, so don't worry about it. As always, let's first have a look at the build quality of this lens. This lens is fully constructed out of metal and it is perhaps the thinnest interchangeable lens that I've used in my entire life hands down. This lens doesn't come with any focusing ring at all so with no moving parts at all I can say that it is definitely built like a tank. So with that being said I don't think you really need to be worried if ever you do accidentally drop this lens. Okay, so now let's briefly talk about the specs of this lens. This lens is built specifically for APS-C cameras. The mount options that you can get from this lens include Fuji X mount, Sony E mount, and the Nikon Z mount. This lens weighs a mere 49 grams, so it is literally a lot lighter than a bag of famous Amos cookies. And I don't know why I'm constantly talking about famous Amos cookies, but anyway, it is a lot lighter than that. In terms of optical design, it is built using six elements in four groups. However, just looking at how thin this lens is, I honestly don't know how they managed that feat to fit so many elements in a tiny thin lens like this. It is quite amazing. And in terms of focusing, this lens is a fixed focus lens and the aperture on this lens is fixed too at f6.3. So it shares the same sort of concept as a pinhole camera where there is no moving parts and the focusing and also the aperture are all set there's nothing that you need to be changing at all the minimum focusing distance on this lens is about 35 centimeters and in terms of filters well you really have to use your imagination you can't really put any filter in front of it simply because there's no filter thread however you can probably put a lens in front of it since the lens element is quite small and you know it doesn't take much to actually block out things right in front of the lens element so yeah you could use a lens filter if you wanted to except that you just can't screw it on right so what was the experience and usability using this lens to be quite honest with you I did feel using this lens in general was quite liberating as it really made my Fuji camera feel more like a point-and-shoot camera there was nothing that I needed to change whether it be my aperture or my focusing ring everything was pretty much snap and go because you just had to point the camera at something and you just needed to snap that shot since there's nothing to be changing. There's no lens, I mean, there's no focusing ring and there's no aperture ring. The focal length of this lens is equivalent to about a 27 millimeter lens on a full frame sensor. So it is in that sweet spot of being wide, but not too wide. So yeah, it's quite a useful focal length to have around. If there's one thing that I felt that was really limiting about this lens, it has to be the aperture and the closest focusing distance. There were times that I did wish that this lens could have had a slightly faster aperture and a closer focusing distance because you're definitely not going to be able to shoot a lot of things the minute the light around you gets really dark. So it's not one of those lenses that you can just pick up and go and think that you can shoot the whole day around with it. In terms of lens distortion and chromatic aberrations, I did feel that this lens is all right and there's nothing really to shout about. It is just an average lens in terms of those qualities. But all in all, it's a fun little lens and I think that this lens is nice to have around, especially on super bright days, just to keep in your bag and you wouldn't even feel the weight of this. So it's such a good all-round lens just to have in your bag for those whenever moments, especially when it's bright. Right then, so what's my conclusion? What do I think about this lens and who do I think should really get this lens? Well, since it doesn't really weigh that much at all and it doesn't really cost an arm and a leg, I really think this is one of those lenses that you can just pick up and just keep it for fun. I mean, the best thing about it is that you will always have a wide angle lens that you can use for those whenever moments, whenever things are really 
super bright. I mean, it's such a useful lens just to keep in your pocket, just so that you have a wide angle lens whenever you're sort of like shooting just for fun. And if there's one thing I do love about this lens is the fact that it really does transform any interchangeable cameras that can fit with this lens into a compact camera. And that is something that is really, really so nice to know. I mean, to think that a lens doesn't have to be this bulging thing in front of the camera is so liberating in the least. Right then, I guess that's it for my review today. I hope you guys did enjoy this review and you did find it helpful and useful. And if you did, please don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Also, I've left links to all the gears that I use to make these reviews, so do check them out. Also, if you do feel like supporting this channel by making a small contribution, I did leave a link to buy me a coffee down in the description below. So do check that out. Right then, I guess that's it for my review. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next review. Peace.